Hi everyone, this is Kamal. Welcome to my channel Understand Tech Here. In today's video, I am going to discuss about pass by value and pass by reference mechanism. Pass by reference mechanism is applied with the user pointer. So without further ado, let's start. The video like this requires a proper attention also so that you can understand each step I'm deliberately going little bit slowly still uh, if you don't follow anything please hit pause button understand and then only move ahead uh, the second thing I'm hoping that you know what pointer and function are. Uh, if you haven't got a basic understanding of pointer and function, uh, I'm afraid uh, you are not gonna clearly understand content in this video. I have a video on the basics of both pointer and functions. I have included the links in the description sections below. Well. Uh, if you know what pointer and what function are. So let's continue. Uh, let's look at the program. Uh, let's say this is a memory diagram along with address of locations. These are variables declarations. Because of this, uh, three locations in memory will be reserved or allocated for you. Uh, let's say these locations are reserved. Name of these locations will be length, breadth and area. Open being asked to enter length and breadth, let's say uh, we enter 10 and 5. We say 10 and 5 will be stored in variable length and breadth, right? But what really happens is 10 and 5 will be stored in locations of memory as shown in the diagram. Now this is a function call. If you recall from function, when there is a function call, from the point where the function is called. Computer goes to the point where the definition of the function is. The definition of function is here. Hence, computer goes from this point to this point. Again, because of this, Three locations in memory will be reserved. Let's say these locations are reserved. Now the name of this location will be L, B and A. See this operator? So here A is a pointed variable. Because variable A is a pointed variable, you should only place address of some other variable in it. Here, three things are passed. Value in variable length, which is 10. Value in variable breadth, which is 5. And address of variable area, which if you look at the diagram is 63567466 so these three things are passed see this operator it is an address operator because of this not value in variable area but address of variable area will be passed in case of variable length and breadth values in them are passed this mechanism of passing values in variables is called 
pass by value. In case of area, not value, but address of variable area is passed. This mechanism of passing address of variable is called pass by reference. We say 10, 5 and 6, 3, 5, 6, 7, 4, 6 will be passed and will be in variable L, B and A. Now let's come to this point. This is the most crucial thing to understand in this program. After multiplying value in variable L and B, where are we putting value? In variable A? Absolutely not. See this operator? It's called an indirection operator. It means putting value not in variable A, but where variable A is pointing at. Let me repeat. It means putting value not in variable A, but where variable A is pointing at. Now, where is the variable A pointing at? It is pointing at 6356746. Which is the location having address 6356746? This one. Hence, the value will be stored here. I hope you understand this point. Value will be stored here. Note here, uh, because of pass by reference mechanisms, we didn't need it to return value in variable A. So look at the program. We didn't return uh, value in variable A. So pass by reference mechanism allows us to indirectly return values in functions. If you recall from function, in function, uh, you can pass as many values as you like, but you can return more than one value. So, pass by reference mechanism is frequently used in functions if we have to return more than one value. Uh, in this particular program though, since we have to return only one value, if we had wanted, uh, we could have directly written value in variable A and you know, uh, avoid it uh, using pass by reference mechanisms. So, how's today's video? Please leave your comments and suggestions below. I would be posting videos like this on various programming topics. So, please do consider subscribing to my channel. So, this was for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in next one.